Now that we've got our elevation model in place, um, it's important to add aerial photography to give the reality aspect uh, presence. So let's do that. It's another raster data source. Um, oops, that's I'm adding a point cloud there because that's what we did last. I want to add another raster data source. It happens to be at the top level. Alexandria new dot Sid, Mr. Sid file. We'll add that. It will come in neither configured nor um, imported. <clears throat> That's because there are some significant configuration options uh, that you have to set. In this case, the Mr. Sid image does not happen to have the coordinate system established with it, and it can't be rendered without it because obviously it's projected from its current coordinate system into lat long. Uh, on the raster side, you can you know click to the model extent, which we will do. Um, you know you can use different classifications. We're going to say it's aerial photography, which it is, and uh, you can do all sorts of color correction, band mapping, and so on. We're not going to get into the details of those. We're just going to use the imagery as it is. This is a significantly larger Mr. Sid file than the project area we're working on, but that's okay because it's going to get clipped and uh, processed to fit. Once it's initially processed and brought in the data, it starts to do the rendering exercise. You can see it's already imported, in fact, but uh, the rendering is the next step. And one nice feature of InfraWorks is that even while it's coming in, you can uh, zoom in and out and uh, visualize it as it's being rendered. Okay, so that is the 3D um, elevation model visualized together with the raster Mr. Sid image um, to create something that is, you know, kind of interesting. There's a lot of noise here. I mentioned that, um, so it's not perfectly clean. But you are starting to see an image of the city appear now. And also notice that it dynamically renders things uh, with a certain level of precision according to what you're visualizing. So as I zoom in, um, building level details, you know, start to get a lot better uh, than what they are uh, at the at the you know outer level scale, and it, it keeps that precision. Uh, there you can see that noise that in the recap file we eliminated. Um, I, I have a hard time believing that there's a tower that tall uh, in Alexandria, but uh, in any case. Um, there's, you know, at that scale, not a too bad image of what the city looks like, and we'll start from there to add vector data sets.